How's it going guys, Cream Red Century here and today I'm back with another video. Just want to quickly thank you for all the support on my channel recently, it's been absolutely amazing reading all your nice comments. Recently hit 50 subscribers as well, to see if we can smash 10 likes for that would be absolutely brilliant. Today we've got a, a nice video for you today and we're going to go on about how you can get players for free in FIFA 16 and FIFA 17 career mode. If you clicked on it thinking uh, I put FIFA 17 in the title, why is this on FIFA 16? You can do it on both. And I don't want to use up my time on my early access when it comes out, so I thought I might as well do it on FIFA 16. They're both the same principle and works works uh, equally well on both FIFAs, so I just thought I might as well show it on FIFA 16 instead. Anyways, so what we're doing here is we are signing players on pre-contracts. If you're wondering, how do I find all these players? Well, you can go on Foothead, I'll leave the link in the description below. All you have to do is go on career mode and set the setting to contract expiry, end of 2016. So... I've forwarded this career mode all the way to January, 1st of January, and I've literally just found all the players that have suggested me. As you can see, there's some amazing players here. We've got like the likes of Vuitton and Nkulu there. We've got Ebra at the bottom as well. We've got Carrillo, the five-star skiller. Fagulu, the new player who signed for West Ham. Lots of good players that we can get literally just for free on their wage budget. As you can see, if the player does have six months left on his contract, and he's the age of... And he is the age over 23. <laughs> age over 23? That's my bad speaking there. And he is over 23. You can sign him for just his wages. I don't know why EA have put this in the game. But it is a thing. You guys know that it is a thing as well in uh, real life. Players do sign for, for free uh, in the January transfer window. Like Fuguli went to West Ham. So these are players that... This is making Krim a little bit more realistic as well. Uh, Ebra would have probably cost me about 25 30 million, so get him on a free just his wages about 250,000 is absolutely perfect. Like I said, guys, the player does have to be over 23. I don't know why it's got to be under 23. Obviously, we did have the likes of Pogba, who's just moved to Man United for 89 million. He's not, he's under 23. You can't get him on a pre contract, but you can get any player over 23. I guess EA don't want you to sign young players because young players do kind of have a high contract anyway. They usually are, do sign like five year deals, that kind of stuff. And as well, um, players are usually most expensive at their 26, 27, 28 kind of age. So you won't be paying uh, paying out the bank for players under 23 unless you are signing players like Pogba. Or maybe you might be. But as you can see here, we're just going to go through and sign all these players on a pre-contract. A lot of players on my list. This isn't everyone in the um, in the first season that uh, has a pre-contract, so don't look at this and thinking, well, I found someone that you don't have in this in your shortlist here. But I haven't added any, everyone into my team there. I've just added the main ones like Ebra and those kind of players. So just going to quickly sim this game and go into our office and see if the players have come back and accepted these offers. As you can see, we've had a few declines, but I'm not really bothered about them. I'm just going to show you the ones that have signed. On the left-hand side, it said offer transfer sum. It says zero. So technically, we are getting these players for absolutely nothing. A Fredo would cost more than Thiago and Ibra. Just as wages a week. As you can see, all these players are entering Real Madrid here. You don't have to be Real Madrid. You can be any single team on FIFA 17 or FIFA 7. 16 career mode, sorry. Doesn't have to be at any team. Um, obviously, you do have to have the wages to afford them, so you can't obviously be a team in League One and try and get Ibrahimovic on a pre contract, it's just not going to work. And the same rules will apply, as you can see, we did have Terry and Turner reject it. Not everyone will accept it, unfortunately. You do have to maybe offer them a little bit more wages, that kind of stuff. But at the end of the season, uh, when you do uh, go into your next season, they will be in your team as a pre-contact arrival, as long as you accept them. So it's absolutely perfect. I'm just going to quickly sim through the calendar here and get all the way to the end of the season so that I can show you that these players do enter Real Madrid at the start of the second season. Like I said, go on Foothead. Uh, it's in the description below the link. Everyone knows Foothead, surely. Um, just go on, on the career mode section. Search uh, contract and make sure it expires at the end of your year. Obviously here, June 2016 is the end of my season, so that's when we want to expire. During the next season, look what the last look at the year of June I should say 2017, so it should be contact expiring in 2017. Yeah, that's how it works, guys. So we're going to go into the new season and just have a look at our offers and see who's signed. Um, if you do want more of these kind of videos, I've done a FIFA 17 um, beta update video. I've done a FIFA 17 teams to choose that kind of stuff. If you want more of those kind of videos, by all means, leave a like. Uh, show you that you are enjoying these kind of videos. Put it in the comment section below if you've got any suggestions for videos for me as well. Um, I will do the Who to Sign series, but the last the Late Norwich one didn't get a lot of views, so I'm not sure if you guys enjoy it as much. If you do want more Who to Sign, 
leave that in the comment section below I do have a lot of list for players uh, and teams to do sorry so um, if you decide is wanted I can do that however back to this video we're gonna quickly wrap it up and go into our side and see who we've signed obviously all these players on a pre-contact we've got Ibra, Carrillo and Cooley, Vertonghen literally just coming to Real Madrid for free didn't cost us a penny and that's why I love this about career mode. I know not everyone knows about the pre-contact arrival uh, uh, offer, so I thought I'd put it in a video just in case everyone didn't know about it. I know it is maybe a misleading title, so uh, don't don't look at it that way. It is still getting players for free. However, you obviously do have to pay their wages. I'm not bothered about a pre-seen tournament. I'm not actually going to play this career mode. It's just for uh, informational purposes that I'm going to show you who to sign here. As you can see, we go into the second day of the month and everyone is signed on a pre-contact arrival. We do get an email as well to remind us. Sometimes, however, it can glitch out. It can say that um, if the player does sign for another club, however, so if you're going in for an approach on your contract and he's just signed for another club or he's, there's an offer on it, don't go in offer for him because it will take your wages and it won't actually come to your club. It goes to the club that he's signed for. So just watch that out when you're all signing players, but the rest of it should be fine. It doesn't usually happen often. It only happens once or twice between players. Anyway, that will be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, by all means, leave a like. Absolutely perfect. I'm loving the support on the channel recently, guys. It keeps me motivated to make videos, and seeing your likes and comments just makes my day. Again, comment any videos that you uh, suggest for me in the comment section below. Subscribe if you are new to my channel for more FIFA 16 content and FIFA 17 content that's coming up. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video and peace.